Okay, so today I'm going to give you a quick go around to see all the texture on the walls. Hopefully you can see this on the video. Um, so there we are. That was the wall I started on yesterday. I'll walk around this way a little bit and give you a close-up of this texture. You can see here, um, this is um, the, like the wrinkles in the tissue paper. So everything's dry and now we're going to go ahead and put some stenciling on over top of this. Just to give it a little bit more dimension and character. As you can see, I already hung the stencil up. I just used blue painter's tape and now I'm going to put the stencil, put some um, drywall compound on the stencil to make it stand out a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So I want to get um, some drywall compound here out of the bucket. And I don't need a lot because we're just going to make that a, a thin coat on the stencil so I'm putting it here on my I have a four inch little knife and I guess this is like eight inch eight inch I just keep the um, drywall compound on here so this is what we're gonna do just kind of smooth them in Make sure you cover up all the all the areas that you want the compound in. For everybody that does journaling pages, this is sort of the sort of the same thing, except it's a really big journal page. And then these shouldn't take very long to dry at all. And uh, what we'll do after this is start putting the orange paint on the walls. And it's going to look really, um, really orange at first because it is a really bright orange color. But um, as we add the other layers of paint, you'll see it toned down and it'll just be really, really pretty. bit more. Then after you get this done, double check to make sure you have all of it covered in. Because once you pick it up, you can't line it back up exactly right again. So just make sure you have everything covered in that you want. There might be some edges of drywall compound on the stencil. It's not going to make a perfect impression, but it'll be really close. And you're not looking really for perfection because it's supposed to look like an old, you know, like an old Tuscany wall. So there's that. I'll remove the stencil from there and we'll, we'll go ahead and put these on randomly. There's no... I don't have a real set way of doing it. I just want these to kind of randomly show up on the wall. So there's one, the first one, and then um, I'd like to go ahead and put another one here, but do you see what's going to happen? Um, um, I'll probably smear that one. So I think what I'll do is I'll just move down the wall, maybe put one down here somewhere and then we'll come back and and put one next to that once that dries a little bit so I like to kind of put some close to the top of the ceiling too, make them look like they're uh, only part of it is sticking out like a half stencil so let's just do that up here do that this might be a little bit tough to do. And there are um, little marks here on the stencil that 
help you to kind of keep it straight. I can get it lined up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. See, there's where I'm going to have the problem. And here with my phone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that will work. Let's see. No. Sorry. Oh. oh, fuck. Okay, so that one's going to have to be edited a little bit. 